Welcome to Rezobiz. This week I have a special video for you. It's special for me actually. I've got a super custom Dobro. Probably the most custom Dobro I've ever done. I put every feature into it that I could possibly think of. So anyhow, here's a little bit of putting it together, playing it for the first time. Hope you enjoy it. Hi, I'm Burl with Bro Guitars, and this is Rezobiz, where everything is greater with a resonator. something fun that we need to do. We have um, curly maple fretboard. And I say curly maple, the main the main part my fingers on is curly maple. Okay. The dark part is koa. The centerpiece is koa. The the um let's see if I can get a good see the speckled uh, piece there that's another piece of wood and then you have this black ebony fiber um trimming it and then you have abalone so there's a lot of wood making up this fretboard but um come down and the original thought was we're going to put a koa palm rest on here but as i'm looking at it i think this is a masterpiece that kind of draw off of this for all my others but i'm thinking it needs to flow into this to make it kind of fit or else I should do a black ebony uh, palm rest to match this so uh, you'd say well a coal one would match the little bits yeah but to overview at a distance this would flow so I'm going to do I want to do a maple one so the other day I was splitting wood for my fireplace and we came across this you say why would you want to use that burl because look at this you see it, the uh, as it's split <laughs> even in rough form you see the lines that go this way that's the curl in this and look at this side and we're gonna hopefully get something special out of this it's spalted and the black is real heavy in it so I've got curl it's well it's maple it's got curl and it's spalted and so we're gonna see if we can get something special out of this this is I, this is what I enjoy. Here's a piece of of wood. I found it splitting wood uh, out from the burn pile, and um, now maybe we can make something that is something somebody uses uh, to play music with, to entertain other people with. Um, shoot, just full out enjoy it instead of burning it in the fireplace. I actually set it under the fireplace. I have a well, you not a not a rock fireplace, but a wood stove. I put it under it, and it should be pretty dry. So I'm gonna chop it up and see what we can get out of it. Okay, so I have whacked this thing up a good bit. Unfortunately, I was real proud. <coughs> Of the fact that we might have some really dark black, but it was only on the surface. It may have been oxidized from the weather. I don't know what caused it, but you can see even the thinnest bit of cut where it cut through. It was only on the outside. I thought that was really going to be cool. I don't know how that happened, but so unfortunately that went all the way through. But it still has some neat looks. Here's what we're going to do now, though. I'm going to take and sand it a bit and see you know now i'm wondering how much of this is curl and how much of that sand marks or you know from the blade um before what you saw was definitely curl but sometimes maple does this thing where i don't know i almost feel like it splits and it shows the uh curl better than it does see i can see the curl really well right there it hasn't been cut it's just split but it shows the curl and then when you 
you sand it and you get it all prepped, it's not there. And it may be an angle's cut, so, or angle of the cut, I don't know. Let's see what we can get, figure out. I'll sand it. If we have something nice, we'll use it. If we don't, I'll do something else. All right. So here is our pieces. Um, again, you can kind of see the curl in it on this end, but um, not not well. This side's still raw, you know, from the split. But I was able to see it. Actually, I can see it better myself than you can in the picture. You can see a little bit there. But when I turn it here, I don't see anything. It's weird. It drives me crazy. This doesn't happen a lot, but it, I know it happens. And here it is. I'm worried about it. It's doing it. So let me sand this a bit. Let's see. It really smoothed up. What I'm wanting to do is get it fairly smooth. And I know I'm not doing the whole piece. I want that spalting. I like that, that look to it. Alright. Now what I'm going to do is see what it'll look like when it's wet. I'm going to have a little bit of oil. And we'll put it on here and see if we can see any of that curl. We'll just kind of see what it, see how it brings out the color of that. So yes, there's the curl again. A little bit. Nothing like I thought it was gonna be. So I don't know. I was kind of hoping for something with a little bit more wow to it. See what this side looks like. Hmm. See how that there's some of it, maybe. Yeah. Huh. It's interesting how it's restricted to, see, not much. And I'm, I'm looking at these lines going across. So they got more curl in here. So it might be what I'll do is get my piece out of this right here. And this will be the top size, top face of that palm rest. So it'll look, you know, we'll get it out of this. I'm thick enough so there and that's how I determine sometimes how to um, to know if I've got or I can use lacquer thinner but that's how I determine whether it's gonna be a good piece or not kind of got to get it cleaned up I wished it had that tight curl through here but I do want the curl I really, I really like that especially for this palm rest so there's our piece all right so here we got the uh what do you call this palm rest there it is we got the palm rest cut out and i've got it screwed on now it needs shape because this is too thick and too tall so we'll, we'll shape it down and what i'm going to do is bring a line across here and so that it actually will fit the palm of your hand and it lay down and it slopes off this corner so as you're playing get the focus come on work right it'll feel right like this that's what i'm trying to say so that's the next next goal now let's get that thing just so it feels comfortable. It's getting pretty. It's getting real pretty. All right, so I've got it shaped. Um, I got the holes mounted. 
and the plate for it. So everything's bolted up. I still have to put the tensioning screw hole here, but I've cut this out for this little piece here. There we go. And this is a new one. I've never done this before to put the uh, little bit of inlay to match the fretboard. I've never done <clears throat> anything quite like that before either. This is all, this is a very custom, but that's, that's what we do. Uh, this is custom, but that's going to look really nice. Let's get this, uh, I have to put black filler epoxy in there and we'll get her, uh, set. That's going to end up looking really nice. I think that kind of pulls that whole thing in all the leaves and then which that's a new that's a new thing i've done uh to pull the inlay into the palm rest and the palm rest is also kind of a new thing on dobros uh removable wooden and it feels so neat on your hand right there nice low profile yeah i think customer will really like that. Now I have to drill the uh, center hole for the tensioning screw. So I'm just wiping this down, getting ready to pack it away in a case for the customer. I got a, a light on it just to see everything. <clears throat> but they follow the color in it as I move the camera get different angles. That's, uh, it's just really beautiful. You know, somebody say that, uh, uh, wow, look at the job you did. But you know, I didn't make this part. This is a, this is a God thing here. I mean, it's in a tree and you see the tree, you see the bark, pretty leaves, but inside, uh, <laughs> is this beauty in the wood and we just have to find it pull it out you know it's kind of like that in our lives uh god puts beautiful things in us too we just got to pull it out and then this is special um yeah, can you see that this is gaboon ebony so it's not strictly black it's got different colors in it i love that and this is a special back strapping on a um head this is something special i do comes out past the neck the nut <clears throat> so the nut comes right right through here this comes past it which gives support to that thinner um thinnest spot on the neck it's from from the bottom of the nut to here and that, that's pretty neat it's not absolutely necessary it does make it more ridge rigid excuse me um strength and you could get a little bit better sustain might support that and maybe a little bit more a little brighter tone being denser i don't know if that i think sustain is the biggest thing if you were soft up here junky tuners and um you know something soft wood up here you'll deaden you'll your vibration your strings will run up hit that and it'll act like a sponge rather than something solid for it to spring back and go back down to the cone so sustain is what you're getting out of that very beautiful all right so this it has to be the most elaborate everything that i know of to do just about uh, guitar i've ever done and I, so i thought i'd go through all the um i don't know the specs maybe was what we call it so it's got um koa binding it's got a light flame in it it's got f holes um sound forward hole that's uh made out of uh, flame maple and then it's got quilted maple um, back sides and it's got a quilted maple neck natural flame maple center and it's got uh, black uh, I don't know what you'd call it it's a fibrous material they put it just like black pinstriping on both sides of that and then it's got uh, purfling of black and white purfling 
that runs around all the edges. And then this is a, um, instead of just being ebony, uh, just straight black ebony, well, gaboon ebony. Mm -hmm. So it's got a gaboon ebony back strapping for, for the head. And that back strapping comes down just a little bit past the, the notch for the nut and it gives it a stronger um, joint right there. And then we have the uh, Super Sport head. We have locking tuners um, that go with the hip shot. And they're kind of neat because they're open back um, on that little bit. Half, half of it's open. And then we have the uh, uh, hip shot, which I don't have it in tune for the hip shot because I do tune the whole thing when I ship it. But then you can, uh, when it's tuned in, you can flip that back and drop it into a key of D. But I just, I don't, I'm not, it's not even set up yet. So and then we have a uh, custom uh, cover plate from Beard. And then the most um, detailed fretboard that I've ever done um, with abalone. And then it's got uh, little squares that are made out of koa with purfling, black and white purfling around those, and then leaf um, uh, abalone leaf inlay all the way down until it has one last leaf that falls onto the um, palm rest. Uh, and then I also did something, I don't do this usually, even on the inside I have three hardwood posts and they're, I forget the name of them, but they're extremely dense. I think they call them, it's, it's like ironwood or I forget. I forget what they call it, but it's it's three very hard, dense posts on this side, and then softer, um, oh, poplar post on the other side. Uh, so there's then it's got a fishman pickup in it. I mean, there is a lot going on. I feel like I'm probably forgetting something, uh, but there's a lot going on with this Dobro. It is one of the prettiest and most custom uh, fretboards I've ever done. The fretboard itself is flame maple, two pieces of flame maple with a piece of koa down the center with the black and white purfling on each side of that. The, um, the fret, an average fret, fretboard takes about 52 pieces to make and this one is like 201 different individual pieces to put this fretboard and neck uh, together. So it's, it's completely on the uh, custom side. Here's a little sample of what it sounds like. <laughs>
If you did, hit the like button for me if you would. And if you haven't subscribed, if you'd also hit that subscribe and you will be able to be notified every time I get a new video out. Thank you for watching. I'll hopefully see you next Saturday.